Welcome back to today's project. It's been a cold winter here in the south and spring is finally here. And with spring comes lawn mowing season. This is my John Deere 332 garden tractor. It has a 16 horsepower Yanmar diesel engine, hydraulic steering, hydraulic deck lift, and a set of front hydraulic remotes. I picked it up in Carlisle, Pennsylvania back in 2017 as a winter project. It only had 740 hours on it. It sees plenty of hard use, and if I'm being honest, sometimes gets neglected. Let's pull it in the garage and give it some love. Here's our supplies, OEM fluids and filters. Since I purchased, I've installed a brand new John Deere 48 inch mowing deck, rear category zero three point hitch, and a set of knockoff HDAP tires, as well as some minor cosmetic restoration. This is no trailer queen. I use it to mow during the warm season, but I think it looks great for its age and has much more character than the throwaway mowers at the big box stores these days. First up, new battery. Five years out of the last one. Not bad for a hot, dirty, rough environment. Next, drain the oil. I fashioned a homemade funnel to get around the mower deck. It helps a little, but still makes a mess. In the end, it's much easier than removing the deck and that's what they make brake clean for. While the oil drains, I'll switch out the air filter and check for mice nests. 
They love the air box for some reason. New OEM oil filter to replace the old OEM oil filter. Looks like I missed maintenance last year. Whoops. Fuel filter's pretty easy. Out with the old and in with the new. Fill up the canister to prevent any air getting into the system.
I'll bleed this once I get the engine oil put in. I have to turn on the key to activate the fuel pump and don't want to accidentally turn the engine over without oil in it. Three quarts of 15W40. I'll check for proper level once the tractor's off the ramps. And still can't make my free throws. Now to bleed the fuel system. Pretty easy. Just crack the bleeder screw, turn on the key which activates the fuel pump, and close the bleeder once fuel pushes the air out. Quick start up to make sure all is well. Now to back off the ramps and reposition them under the rear tires. The hydraulic filter is in front of the rear axle. Simple spin on type. And we're back down on level ground. I'm slowly adding hydraulic fluid until the level is visible in the sight glass. That's located behind the rear axle. And now to check the oil. Dipstick says dead on the money. And 
that pretty much wraps up the service. Ready for another year of yard farming. We'll stick her back in the shed until the grass is just a bit taller. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next project.